Hey my creators! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christy and this is Christy Creates. Today is the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. Now guys, I saw this the other day and I was like, this is so me. Creativity is messy and I am very creative. And I knew I was very creative, but I didn't realize how very creative I was until we went to move. Oh Lord, y'all. It's a hot mess express and I still do not have my craft room put together. So today's Chic for Cheap project is short and sweet. So I found this cute little wall hanger on kirklands.com and it's just hooks on a board. And I thought $59.99, no thank you, we can make this. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna go by my front door. So I found this board out in my stash of wood and I keep wood. Like if I find wood beside the road, if somebody's tearing down a building, if they're taking apart a piece of furniture, I stash that y'all. Like I have so much wood stashed in our garage and in a storage unit. So anytime I need a board of some sort, I go dig through that pile. Here I'm just taking some antiquing wax. Uh, this is Waverly antiquing wax and I mix just a little bit of water in it to thin it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to paint it on. Just make sure that when you paint it on, you get it good and smooth or you wipe back over it with a paper towel, a rag, a baby wipe, something like that. Just to kind of make sure you've got good coverage everywhere and there aren't any spots where you can see your paintbrush marks. You can also rub on the antiquing wax with a baby wipe. I have seen a lot of people do that. I, however, don't like that technique. I didn't feel like it covered very well for me. So I prefer my paintbrush and then wiping it back off if I get it on too thick anywhere. Um, today I did a really light coat and so I didn't have to go back and wipe any of it down. I just made sure all of my paint strokes were brushed back out so you couldn't see them. Make sure you do the top and the bottom and the ends because you will be able to see those when it's hanging on your wall. You don't have to do the back side if you don't want to. I did not just because, I mean, it won't be seen. So we are going to do that. And then once I get that all painted on and make sure that there are no streaks in it, then I'm going to take my blow dryer and I set it on the cool setting and just kind of go over it. That keeps it from doing any weird crackling or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I did go over it for you know a few minutes just so that I could get it pretty dry and then I walked away from it for just a little bit just to kind of give it that extra dry time. Um, if you needed it very quickly you could just continue to dry. This Waverly Antiquing Wax dries really quickly so it doesn't take a super long time and here you can see I'm kind of feeling it as I go to see if that tackiness is going away. And I do want to remind you guys really quick while I have you here that every Monday, or not, not every Monday, the first Monday of every month at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I host the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. All I ask that you do is create something cute and stylish for your home cheaper than the inspiration picture that you found, whether that be in Hobby Lobby, in Walmart, on a website, and then you post it here and you add it to the playlist and all of my viewers can get to see it and then we can like send viewers to each other, you guys. So here I'm taking these little coat hooks that I got from Walmart. They did come with their own screws. The screws aren't the greatest quality, so I kind of wish I had switched them out, but I didn't. Here I'm kind of measuring and I went with four inches in between each hook and then I measured one and one quarter inch down from the top and that way they were all pretty even and my board was about 24 just a hair over 24 inches long and so that's I'm kind of making a little pencil mark so that I know where to screw them and then I did go in and drill pilot holes because those screws weren't the best quality. I just took a drill bit and drilled a little hole at first. 
and then went back with my screws and drilled them in. You could also use a screwdriver if you wanted, if you don't have a drill or you're not comfortable with a drill, but I love using a drill. <laughs> I love power tools, y'all. Would you guys be interested in seeing me make more videos using power tools like skill saw, chop saw, any of that kind of stuff? Let me know down below and I can make more videos like that if you guys are interested. And we're almost done. I'm, I'm not gonna show you screwing in all of them. I mean, you guys know how to do that. So I'm gonna screw in this one and then we will finish the board off camera. And then we're going to reveal. You guys, I love this. I'm going to hang it by my front door so that if you come over and visit, you can hang your purse or your jacket, anything like that up. And it's going to also be close to my kitchen. So if I wanna hang a little basket like this up there and my apron, I can. And then I thought that plant looked so cute up there and it just hangs right on that little hook so it can kind of double as a coat rack. You can use it in your kitchen. You can use it for whatever you need your little hooks for. And it's much better than $59.99 because I only spent, a, it was less than $5 on this whole piece. What do you guys think? Don't forget to get your video ready for next month. It will be, like I said, the first Monday of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you're always welcome to add to the playlist with us. Have a good week. Bye-bye.